I talked today about the U.S. Virgin Islanders that were in the Korean War and people from the U.S. Virgin Islands. And 78 people from the U.S. Virgin Islands paid the ultimate sacrifice in the Korean War so South Korea could live, uh, so South Koreans could live free and so South Korea could be free. And Hannah, Hannah Y. Kim, she is in the U.S. Virgin Islands right now. Um, she did a Facebook Live video uh, with some Korean War veterans from the Virgin Islands. And actually, the Lieutenant Governor of the Virgin Islands attended this event as well. And what, um, sorry, uh, what she... Uh, what she said was uh, that there's not a Korean War Memorial there. Which there, I wish there should be. There's not a Korean War Memorial in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but at the same time, there is a memorial that honors all branches of the armed forces. All branches of the U.S. armed forces. And that's where they had this event honoring Korean War veterans from the U.S. Virgin Islands. And it's not a well-known fact that people from the U.S. Virgin Islands did fight in the Korean War, but they did. Um, she interviewed a Korean War veteran whose name was Aubrey. I believe his name was Aubrey. And he fought with the Boring Canoeers, but he was one of the handful of people from the U.S. Virgin Islands that fought for the Boring Canoeers. And the most of them were Puerto Rican. It was like 80, 98 to 99% Puerto Rican, but there were a handful from the U.S. Virgin Islands that comprised the Boring Canoeers. So anyway, so I was doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.